Hey everyone. Just a quick intro here. This video starts off as a test of Plasti Dip, and I'll give the rationale for why I'm doing that. But as you'll see, I wasn't very happy with it. I almost scrapped the whole video concept, and then it occurred to me that I could actually do a similar experiment, but use shrink tubing. So let's jump right into it. I'm gonna start with my original intro, and then we'll go to this, the sequel to it, or the second half of it, where I jump to shrink tubing for the similar experiment and see which works best. Let's get busy. Today, we're going to upgrade a couple of these old tools that I've gotten out of these boxes. And uh, you know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put Plasti Dip handles on them. So let's look at what we're gonna use. And um, a little bit about what the rationale for doing this is. So when I donate, uh, tools, vice grips and old pliers and things like that. I've found that people are much more apt to grab these if they've got the rubber, even if they've got old rubber like this. They, regardless of if these like are really decent lineman's pliers or something can still be used, they, the young people just don't touch them. I guess they just look old and worn out. So we're going to use some plastic dip and uh, we're going to do a couple things we're going to remove the old dip from these which was really old I mean usually this stuff peels right off but in this case it doesn't want to so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it and then we're going to just use a uh, wire brush on a wheel and it'll just take it right off but um, yeah so let's see what these look like when we're done I've used a uh, dull knife to kind of take most of this old rubber off. Okay, I'm gonna use this old destroyed screwdriver to start it. And you can see, uh, you can see swirls in it, so it definitely needs to be mixed up. Hi, Muggy. Stay away from this stuff. Don't step in that. All right. So let's try something easy. So this we're gonna do one, one arm at a time. We'll go up to about the tread line there. I'm just gonna go around. And take it out. Same on this side. Take it out. Okay. Get rid of that excess there. Okay. Now, so what I brought, I brought some clamps out. Now I put my hand on it. Oh well. And I brought some clamps out to kind of hold this stuff while it dries. Because it does take a while to dry. I'm just going to do one coat on each side. Let that one coat kind of run off.
I'm gonna say my official stance is this is a little bit more trickier than it looks. Okay, here's the ones we took the red off. Let's go in. That looks pretty good. Nice and smooth. I think we gotta keep it. good it doesn't move too much back in arm number two I think pulling them out quicker helps this one came out pretty good Go to the other arm. Stir it around. Pull it out quick. Yeah, pulling it out quicker seems to smooth it out a little bit. That didn't work out that good. Let's take it off and try again. All right, back to these guys. These were my first attempts that ended up in failure. Um, I, I think it just didn't stick well. I cleaned them, wiped them down with acetone, but you know, it's old tools, so let's try this again. It's, can we get both? We can get both of these in here at once. As long as I don't hit the sides on the way out, which I just did. It's like that game Operation. Yeah, that actually came out pretty good. Let's try these guys. I cannot do these both at once. Same deal. It just didn't stick very well. So we're going to have to do one, as, one side at a time. Put that on later. Oh, actually not bad. Get a close up. Ooh, I can get this cap on. Okay. Those came out good. And these came out pretty good. You definitely need to hang them upside down. So we learned that lesson. Yeah, it's been about an hour. It's sat and uh, yeah. I would say my second attempt came out pretty good. Got a little spot on that one. 
probably give them a second coat tomorrow if necessary, but I want to see how thick it is. But yeah. It's not impossible to use this stuff. Okay, they dried overnight. And overall they look pretty good, but I have to admit, it's not a very thick coat. So I'm gonna try uh, putting a second coat on some. All right, hopefully I've learned my lessons from my first experiment with them. Let's see how the second coat goes. I'm gonna go in and out. Best way to not have those little knobs on the end. But. Coat number two. I'll let that sit for a while. Second coat looks like it gets on a lot thicker. Maybe because it has uh, more texture to grip, but um, we'll see. All right, it's been about an hour, so I'm gonna assume this stuff is dry. Yeah. And uh, yeah, two coats is good. I'm not gonna overstress it because it has only been an hour. But. Got a little excess there I can peel off. So, yeah, it works. I mean, it's not a finish like you're gonna get from a brand new factory one, but this one came out pretty good. And if I wanted, I could trim these out and make them look perfect. But, uh, you know, for my purposes, I don't think that's necessary. This is the one that had the little nubs on the end. And uh, it's still got those. But my guess is I could probably just clip them off with something very sharp. This isn't sharp enough. Be right back. So I should be able to just, without going too deep, clip these guys off. Still a little wet. But there you go.
All right, so Plasti Dip. Uh, is it worth the money? I don't know. I use like half a can on these guys doing two coats. That's a lot. Um, it works. Yeah, I'm indifferent. If you feel you need to do it, I know. I know that um, people will want want the grip handle rather than the bare handle. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm indifferent. But there you go. There's a demonstration of Plasti Dip for what it's worth. Well, it's been a couple weeks since I did the Plasti Dip test, and honestly, I was going to scrap the video because I didn't get very good results. I tried it again. I still didn't get very good results. The stuff's expensive, and I thought, I, I don't really think this adds much, and I think a lot of people are going to have the same problem. Maybe it'll work for you, but it takes multiple coats, and that stuff gets used up fast. And so I kind of put it on the back burner, and then I thought, well, actually, there is another solution you could try. So I haven't done one yet, but um, let's look at my idea. And, you know, leave a leave a comment if you think it's a better option or if you think I just wasn't using the Plasti Dip right. I don't know. Stuff works, but it's not great. So let's look at my idea. Okay, so here's the Plasti Dip ones. Um, they're okay. An interesting uh, problem I noticed was that they actually stuck to each other just from sitting in the drawer. That's not expected. So, um, yeah, the drawer it does... I haven't moved the toolbox yet, so, so it does get some direct sunlight when the garage door is open, so it got uh, hot, I guess. All right, so what I've got here is I've got a few other things to try. I've got some big... These are really known as bolt strippers to anyone that's ever used them. There, there may be an actual purpose for them where they work well, but as locking pliers, they do not work well. Um, I got a little pair of needle nose here that's also uh, has been sitting in the uh, evaporus, that's why it's black, and I've got a magnet. So here's my idea. What if I just use shrink tubing? I have a lot of shrink tubing around. Um, I don't have perfect sizes for any of this stuff, but like this, I think will work perfectly for that. It'll probably also, this size will probably also work for that. This is big. This may be three quarter inch. This stuff I think is half inch. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So I pretty much get everything here to try it. And it raise this up a little bit so we can get some more of a view of what I'm doing. Here comes Muggsy. All right, so let's take this guy. And let's see what we need to do. We'll cut, see how far on this will go. Probably further than it needs to go. I'm going to try to cut it right at the end. Should shrink around that pretty well this lineup. So this we use this piece for this other part. Perfect. Well, that worked really well for that. So I'm going to go right to the end there, so it'll shrink a little bit more than that. And uh, I'm going to hold it in a vise. Mm -hmm. Make sure you can see that. Let's get this other stuff out of the way so you can focus on what we're doing. And all I'm gonna do is take the heat gun and let's try shrinking it on.
take a look. It's still hot. You can actually even see the factory metal grip came through a little bit better. I think it looks pretty good. I wish it was a less, less than pink color, but I've also got black. This is supposedly red. I, I don't know if that's red. It doesn't look red to me, but um, I think maybe on this I'm gonna use, try black. But yeah, all right. Let's try another piece. Cools off, there it is in black. <laughs> this one's cool enough. So it's quicker to use this than Plasti Dip. It's easier. I guess I should have made this one longer, huh? <laughs> kind of looks weird the way it is. <laughs> I didn't notice that when I was doing it. So the black, we're done. This, I'm gonna cut this guy and um, move it all, all the way up because I obviously did that wrong. All right, I ran this piece up all the way up. So it goes all the way up to there. And you know, the reason why I didn't, I didn't notice it is when these are open all the way, the piece I had ran up to this length right there, no problem. When you uh, change the, I mean, closed all the way, the piece is way too long, but open all the way. It's fine. That's that's the problem I had. But anyway, so what we're going to do is we'll shrink the new piece. All right, so um, my impression is this is a lot easier to do and it's cheaper. I mean, you can get a pack of shrink tubing on Amazon like this with black and red for 20 bucks. Uh, if you're interested, I'll post the link in the description. Now, also important to say, this is marine grade which means that inside you'll see okay see that clear it looks like almost a clear gel that's glue so marine grade shrink tubing has glue inside and that is really an added bonus for this because now this stuff is actually going to adhere to it it doesn't make it any more difficult to remove um because you'll see, I peeled this right off. You can see the glue on the outside. This came off really easy, no problem. But uh, yeah, you get a much better grip here. So I'm gonna do this little magnet. I'm gonna do it in black because I'm not sure. It's this red color, it's not red, it's pink. So we'll do one more, even though for all intents and purposes, you get the point. 
take the black. You know, what would also be useful is if you want to uh, insulate this from the magnet so that when you go down, it doesn't stick to the sides. You could slide this right on top of it. This is actually the near perfect size for this. So I won't even cut it. Just put it on there and hit it. So, here we go, Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip right there, or shrink tubing on the left. That's a more vivid red, but I mean, it. this looks better. So, okay, my mind is made up for this purpose I prefer the shrink tubing method. It looks better, it's easier, it's less expensive, and with the marine grade, I think it grips it really well. So, um, I mean, Plasti Dip has its other uses. Uh, I don't really find much of a use for it, but some people do. Obviously, it wouldn't be on the market and so successful. For this particular purpose, though, I think the shrink tubing is a better option. It's cheaper and it looks better. So I'm actually gonna do a whole bunch of tools now that I've got left over from these toolbox halls that are ready to be donated because as I said in the beginning of the video um, kids just look at tools um, or young men look at tools and if if they don't have these rubberized handles they're just nope not interested they, they just won't take them so um, I got a few to do I'm glad I've got two big bags of shrink tubing because I'm probably going to go through most of that and uh, you know if you like this sort of content and you found this video interesting or even just entertaining hopefully useful um, hit the like and subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That helps the channel grow. And you know, if you have experience with either of these methods, uh, I can't imagine that my shrink tubing method was an original idea. Um, it was to me, but if you've done this or you have more experience with Plasti Dip, you know, leave, leave your opinions in the comments. I read all the comments, I do respond to them. But uh, if you've got some old tools that need some covers on them, hey, don't be intimidated. Just buy some drink tubing if you've got a heat gun and, uh, you know, go out, get busy. Take care. I took that leftover piece of red and I put it on the uh, edge of the magnet. It doesn't completely stop it. It's not completely insulated, but it's a lot less powerful.